All right, new shot here with reference, no sound. This is early blocking here, or just blocking, focusing on posing. <laughs> I like it. Definitely a fan of just that elongated moment there, a nice pose for sure. That's all clear too. Careful on like passing poses like this where I like this a lot. We're kind of missing it where I think you can rotate that character around a bit more. And even because of the color silhouette, you can even have that elbow in front of the body. But you know, meaning like the shoulder area, chest area, stomach, and then your your arm bent over there. Kind of the way I have it here. Totally worked because I like that, that hand. Because that way it's not just... Oh, like that would be a nice telegraphing of what he's about to do. So imagine that hand is here and then it grabs or goes for the saxophone. Here, I will probably lower it just a bit more to, f to get some negative space there. It's a bit too compressed for me. And then this is going to be tricky. Like once you are in spline mode, I think how you go back and then immediately shoot forward, that's going to be a fairly jarring. Because your your timing is fairly realistic. Not saying for the real, more naturalistic type of cartoon animation with some push poses, but it's nothing crazy. So but here, you're going to have a, a, a very strong, oh, what is this? Ah, should I? Yes. Which I like in terms of contrast, but watch out. It is, it's very strong. You're going to need one or two more breakdowns there to kind of soften that. I would separate these again in terms of kind of avoiding tangents. Same thing here, just that connection on the thumbs. You just bring one arm lower, one stays up there. And even that ooh, could work. When he goes, ooh, no. Might be a bit fast, but it could work. It could work. I'm not, I'm not ruling anything out yet. I'm a fan of this just because with the, the tilt, you're taking the reference and pushing it. And I like all the posing, the line of action, the asymmetry. But then we get to this, and it's a bit of the dreaded W pose. It's very, even though there's a change here, it's it's fairly mirrored. And even here. And I I would have on even on that drop here, instead of landing here, already I would already have a turn so that your lowest position is already getting into this, so that we have more of a three-quarter asymmetrical view versus that's again very mirrored so if he goes it could be like what are you doing in reference going ah, okay it's come down bummer okay so you can still have a where this is more like maybe up and maybe you have a little gesture like ah like a like a grabbing and then that's just could be that low it could even be just only one like oh i wish and then he can just snap one arm back on his way down to here. And that's where he rests a bit. And then he goes into this, which is fine. I like that. Surprise movement here, which could work. It's crazy in terms of the face. So when you're covering the face, it's going to, I was wondering what if he kind of shows up like whoop, with an arc there instead of straight up. But it's not too bad because I like the slight twist there a little bit. I think that helps. And here, I don't, I don't know. For this, it's also very uh, subjective. I don't mind the symmetrical nature here and the mirroring of posing. There's just something where it's like, ooh, don't mind. Even though we're a bit close here, so you probably have a slight turn in his spine, and so this arm is a bit, a bit uh, higher. That elbow, only so that to me it seems like, or you can do the opposite. Maybe this way. The way he will grab it. How does he grab it? And it goes this way. Yeah, to me, instead of going straight up, because it's funny to go straight up like this, where it just kind of appears, the way you have it in your reference. But we don't quite see the bend that you have in your body, where it's like this, like, ooh. And it's a tricky thing when you have something rotated to or away from camera in a, such a flat pose. So you might consider something where that is the reveal, but by the time he's there, what if he took a step and he, I mean, he can also be here and have a bit of a, oh, what's over there pose. 
You can also have a bit of a side pose where maybe here we can see only one leg, but he's a bit more bent over. Maybe where you have a nicer arc and then we can have arms here, even if it's just a little bit. But even if it's just a tiny bit so we can bring that elbow a bit higher, that could work. This one, watch out. This is a bit tricky. Given that it's hidden and the bend is so straight, I would try to find something where we're a bit more bent like that. And even here, bent like this. And even that gets a bit muddy in terms of the silhouette. So I will, what is he doing? He goes up straight into this. So that's a good one. So to me, it's just these two poses where you want to show the structure of the arms a bit more. Even here, why not just bend it like Beckham? And if one arm is covered by this, I understand, but one would be just a bit cleaner. That's fine. Of course, I have to laugh at this because I am immature. <laughs> he's cracking up. And then his last little, oh. This could even have a little bit of a shoulder drop, but... Uh-oh. Yeah, I think that works. You might also, instead of a forward move, it could be a da -da -da stop. And then imagine he goes, if I play this backwards, he goes, uh-oh. Like, he goes a bit backwards and down. That's like a super, you know, subjective picky thing here, but that could be something. But other than that, as you were asking about the posing, I think this is all very, very cool. Again, picky things like you could have the the stick here. I'm losing my English. The um, cane, maybe here. A, so it doesn't have a tangent, but it also kind of has uh, a, a line that is diagonal towards this. Like everything goes back to to this like you imagine you can even bend the head down a bit more if you want to exaggerate it more so, so you have the cane everything is pointing and going up to the head which goes back into this i do like how he just lets it go yeah and the other poses i talked about yeah i don't know that's kind of that hope that helps this is really fun i can't wait to see this planned out and that's it for me thanks all right there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.